Hey guys, Vladimir here. It is 1.30 a.m. and I figured since I'm up anyway, I'll go ahead and do a uh, sort of a little quick tip on how to uh, extrude um, objects to a curved surface. So um, let's go ahead and begin. This is a question I see asked around a lot, so I thought why not just uh, record a video on it. Um, let's go ahead and create a curved surface. The easiest way to do that is just to create a sphere. So we'll go ahead and uh, go to create sphere. Uh, I can choose any plane here and I'll just grab the origin and 40 millimeters sounds good. I'll click OK. Next I'll do a construction uh, plane. I'll go ahead and choose construct offset plane. Turn on my origin and I'll grab this plane here and just drag this out just so that it's in front of that sphere and click OK. Then I'll go ahead and choose sketch, create sketch and I'm gonna um, create a sketch right on that plane I just created. And at this point I can draw anything, right? I can do any shape I want, spline curve. Uh, but let's go ahead and do a text because I have a feeling um, a lot of you may be trying to wrap text around uh, an object. So uh, we'll go to text and I'll just place the text here to start typing. And I'll just call it sphere. It's upside down so I'm just going to grab this and turn it 180 and then move it into place here click OK and now I can go ahead and click stop sketch and I can just go ahead and hit E for extrude uh, go ahead and click on my sketch and so this is uh, my first attempt trying to do something like this and maybe what some of you may um, try to do as well is you probably try to go ahead and extrude it into the sphere you know so let's say you do something like that and click OK you try to look at it and you see well okay it didn't go all the way through like the center did but the sides didn't because they have a farther way to travel we'll go back to our timeline and just double click back again and I can try to fix that by going all the way through um, something like that and click OK but that also creates a problem because you know you, you don't really get uh, a nice conform um, or a nice uniform the extrusion here so for example if I go here and select this length here that's three millimeters but if I come in and go like this E that's extruded in at nine millimeters you know and if I go again around the edges that's gonna you know that's 0.7 so it doesn't really give us exactly what we want I want that nice uniform extrusion all the way around so the way I would tackle this is I'll go ahead and double click back on that uh, feature um, and again this is how I would tackle this um, like anything else in Fusion um, or any design program you know there can be uh, numerous ways to do it um, so okay instead of distance I'm gonna go ahead and choose to object and instead of cut I'm gonna go ahead and choose new body so what that's going to do is here, I'll turn this way so we can see it um, what, what that's going to do is uh, first I have to select my object right I said I want to go to objects so I'm going to select this fair so it'll go ahead and now extrude whatever object I have here or whatever my selection is just until it gets to that um, the sphere right the object that I selected so it'll extrude uh, the middle parts you know just just enough right here and then the outside parts they have to go longer um, so I can go ahead and click OK the important thing here is you want to make sure you have new body selected and two objects so we'll click OK now I can just go ahead and do a selection from right to left and I'm gonna right click and just choose move and take the arrow and just move this in so I can now say ask or tell it how far I want that extrusion so let's say I want it to be inset uh, one millimeter I'm just gonna type negative one uh, hit enter and next all I have to do is just a simple boolean operation so let's go ahead and go to modify and choose combine I'm gonna choose this as my target area or my target body and then my tool body is going to be um, the letters that I want to cut so I'm gonna choose cut as my operation and click okay so there we go now as we can see you know this is one millimeter that's one millimeter and 
that's one millimeter as well so there we go we've got our perfect um, uniform extrusion throughout and you know just as with text it'll work with any other shape um, it's the same procedure so all right guys I hope that was helpful um, I'm gonna try to do a bunch of these sort of just um, under five minutes little quick tip tutorials on um, you know what I think can be helpful if you have any suggestions of things you want me to cover just leave it on the comments below um, if you have any questions go ahead and leave it on the comments as well and make sure to check my um, 3d design course which I'll also leave a link below all right guys take care